What's up, boys and girls? It's me again, Jimmy Fish, aka Pussy Sp in. Yeah, boys, some coffee. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah, that's good. Good. Make me feel good. All right. Gear. Gear tabletop review. Yes, sir. We're doing the gear tabletop review on. Yo-Yo Reels. These are the Cuban Yo-Yo Reels. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. The Yo-Yo Reels. Now, what is this? This is a polymer ring used for headlining. Headlining. Yes. What is headlining? You fix with your hands. Yes, sir. That's what you do. You fix with your hands. Now, what do you do with your headlining Yo-yo reel or or circle or or whatever the freak you want to call it You wind up some line do a cinch knot or do some holes, you know tie it up the line Put a weight and hook at the end of the line Swing it Like there's no tomorrow or like you do dancing disco. Yeah Just Swing it out point this thing to the front because of this slope right here, there will be less resistance and the line will be casted out. Now, once it hits the water, let it sink and then don't leave the line all loose and stuff like that. Now put some tension on it, a little bit of tension on it so you can feel the bite. Now, as far as line, you can use any time, any type of tensile strength line. Uh, six pound up to a hundred pound don't really matter. I would not use a uh, spectral line or that uh, kind of, of uh, line um, Like spider wire Power pro stuff like that because those are very good lines on 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 a fish uh, fishing for uh, For heavy fish on brush and stuff like that and you have a reel and you have a rod but this time you're going to be using your hands. So that stuff will cut into your hand really, really quick. Tell you for experience. One time, stupid me, I was trying to get a lure out of a stump that was caught on. And I left the reel on the boat. Beside, I was in a friend's boat. And I started with my hands trying to yank off the uh, that uh, hook from a stump. Well, guess what? It was not a stump. It was a fish. And I had done this with a line so I can pull on it. Well, the fish started moving and started pulling. And I had 50 pound uh, power pro line around my freaking hand. And I had a four pound fish at the end of the line. And it was cutting into my head pretty freaking bad. Um, what I did, moment of, you know, brightness. Um, I got a piece of, um, it was like a fish belly, like a, to knock the fish on the head. And I put it in the line and I started doing the, the winding. I started doing this, or I don't remember this or this way. And I started winding. So once that took off the pressure off my hand and, and now I was on that little pole and I got the freaking fish out of the water. But I learned pretty fast not to tie line around your hand. So I would recommend using monofilament, um, whole polymers, uh, fluorocarbons, any kind of type of um, round diameter lines. I mean, you can use any tensile strength because these things are very, very dynamic. They're very versatile. And you know you can put any ring you want on them, any line you want on them. Um, how can they fail? They can't fail. These are fail proof. They're strong. Um, the only thing you can fail is your rig up. Basically your knots, you know, your swivels and stuff like that. That's the only thing that can really fail. This thing, there's nothing that can fail on it. Very lightweight. This is six inch diameter, well, six and a half on the back part. So this is the back part. This is the front part. You're a righty, 
left hand bridge, wind up. Once you get a fish, fight it with your hand, wind up, fight it, wind up, you know, depends on the size of the fish, you don't know what you have at the end of the line. So, uh, of course, let me uh, share with you uh, basic physics that I learned pretty fast this week. Um, if you get a fish and that thing is like pulling hard, you try to grab it both hands and just let the fish, you know, pull on it and you pull back, pull on it, you get it tired. Uh, do a couple of wines, pull it, let it go, pull it, let it go, pull it, let it go. Now, your strength is here, close to your body. This is your center of gravity. This is your strength. This is where you want to be with the reel. You put up to the front, guess what? You don't have the same strength. It's the same reel, same fish, same everything. How it to the front, it can get away from you. So, you want to keep it close to your body. It's like when you carry a rock. You have a two-pound rock on this hand. And you put it up to the front, it feels heavier. You put it close to your body, it feels less heavy. It's the same rock, same weight, but you put it to the front, you have a much larger or much more effective weight because it's away from you away from your center of gravity away from your strength so you want to keep the reel close to you and wind up pull wind up pull you know now um of course these are very inexpensive like 350 to five dollars depending where you get them um you can put any kind of rig you want on it any kind of line again Monofilaments, round diameter lines are better. Uh, try to look for casting lines, you know. Uh, lines they have, they don't have a lot of memory. Um, they can, you know, cast out pretty, pretty good. Um, you'll see them on the package, you know, it says extra casting and stuff like that. Check for the line, I mean, you know, try to see how, how hard it is or how, how flexible it is. You want a line that's flexible and a line that doesn't retain a lot of memory. Um, they sell them in all different colors, you know, and the good thing about that is you can color code your lines. You can have a 40 pound here, 50 pound here, you know, and then another color you can have a 10 pound. It depends on your rig, what you're fishing for. Um, good thing about these things, salt water. You don't have to wash or worry about mechanism on this thing. Salt water won't do crap to this plastic. So. Um, you know, that's like no maintenance whatsoever on this for salt water. So that's a pretty cool thing. Um, the only thing that would damage this is you will leave them out in the sun for a long time. Uh, it can make it more brittle, but that's about it. Um, color coding six inch and then they have a nine inch. Is the nine inch stronger? No, it's the same strength. The only thing is you have a larger diameter. So what's going to happen is that you wind up much more line with less turns than the 6 inch. But the portability, you know, on the 6 inch is better. Uh, the weight is almost the same. It's a little bit heavier, but, but not by much. You can barely notice it. But the portability, the 6 inch is better. The thing is with these things, you can catch really big fish, small fish, but also really big fish. So that's a pretty cool thing about it you know that it can get you um, a small you know little uh, some fish or you can catch you know a big you know 20 30 40 50 pound cat on this too it's so up to you how you handle it again we're talking about your rig up that's your tensile strength on your line you know your swivels your hooks you know that that's gonna dictate you know the outcome of your fishing um, but as far as this thing alone nothing will happen to it nothing can fail on this the only thing that can fail is you how you do things so um very cool gear for survival throwing your backpack i'm gonna throw one in my truck to have it there ready just in case i want to go fishing someday and i don't want to come and get my fishing reels and stuff 
And of course, it doesn't take a lot of space, so you can throw it just under the seat and, you know, forget about it. So that's very nice on this. Um, again, these things have been used for years and years and years, and I barely found out about them. And I used to use something similar to this a long time ago when I was a little kid. Um, you know, I was broke when I was a little kid. And, uh, you know, my parents didn't have a lot of money. And my dad didn't, wasn't the fishing kind. So uh, I remember when I used to go fishing with my friends, um, we used to get uh, soda cans and tie a knot around it. Bend the middle a little bit, just, you know, f make it a little bit of flat area there. Wind up some line, put a weight in a hook and swing it, throw it out point of can to the front and that thing will fly out and then you know land the, once you cut a fish you know that that was when the thing will come you know that's when the shit hit the fan basically because the thing sometimes will get a, you know you would it will slip off your hands and you know to wind up the line it was hard sometimes it will slip out you wind it up and then you move the can a little bit to the front and slip out so you know i had experiences with those things and they worked okay, but they were not the best device to do hand lining. And for me, this configuration looks very sturdy uh, and very good. So, um, very inexpensive piece of gear that you can have in your survival pack, you know, in your car, um, on your, I'm gonna have some, you know, my truck, on my fishing uh, bag for salt water, my fishing bag for, for, for fresh water, and, um, you know, it's 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 a very primitive way of fishing, but I think it's the best way of fishing. Um, I think it's you know it's not the same to catch a large fish on a on a on a rod and reel than to catch a large fish on a headline. You know, for me this is more challenging, and I think this is I will be more satisfied catching a big fish on this than on a rod and reel. So. I am going to take these because I'm going soon on a fishing trip to a bay area and I am going to fish and I'm going to fish for some speckled trout, maybe some some uh, red drum, uh, black drum, I don't know what I'm going to catch with this thing but I'm going to try it out and I'm going to catch something with this. Um, so again, um, very inexpensive way to fish very inexpensive piece of survival gear you can use and um you know the versatility of it is it's you know it's basically you know you can put whatever you want on it it doesn't really matter you can use any kind of line any kind of rig uh you know it's a very simple device you know not, not a lot can go wrong so that's it that's a review on the cuban yo-yo reel for headlining Coffee. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon again. Bye bye. Eh, eh, eh.